Hey, good morning, and welcome to Morning Gospel Fuel with Mr. G. It is Saturday, March 14th, Pi Day, uh, and the feast day of St. Leobinus, the patron saint of wellness. Today's gospel is from Luke chapter 15, verses 1 through 3, and 11 through 32. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. The tax, the tax collectors and sinners were all drawing near to listen to him. But the Pharisees and scribes began to complain, saying, This man welcomes sinners and eats with them. So to them he addressed this parable. Then Jesus, then Jesus said, A man had two sons, and the younger son said to his father, Father, give me the share of your estate that should come to me. So the father divided the property between them. After a few days, the younger son collected all his belongings and set off to a distant country where he squandered his inheritance on a life of dissipation. When he had freely spent everything, a severe famine struck that country, and he found himself in dire need. So he hired himself out to one of the local citizens who sent him to, the, to his farm to tend the swine. And he longed to eat, but nobody gave him any. Coming to his senses, he thought, How many of my father's hired workers have more than enough food to eat? But here I am, dying from hunger. I shall get up and go to my father, and I, shall, and I shall say to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and against you. I no longer deserve to be called your son. Treat me as you would treat one of your hired workers. So he got up and went back to his father. While he was still a long way off, his father caught sight of him and was filled with compassion. He ran to his son, embraced him, and kissed him. His son said to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and against you. I no longer deserve to be called your son. But his father ordered his servants, Quickly bring the finest robe and put it on him. Put a ring on his finger and sandals on his feet. Take the fattened calf and slaughter it. Then let us celebrate with a feast, because this son of mine was dead and has come to life again. He was lost and has been found. Then the celebration began. Now the older son had been out in the field and on his way back. As he neared, in, as he neared the house, he heard the sound of music and dancing. He called one of the servants and asked him what this might mean. The servant said to him, Your brother has returned, and your father has slaughtered the fattened calf because he has, because he has him back safe and sound. He became angry, and when he refused to enter the house, his father came out and pleaded with him. He said to his father in, re in reply, Look, all these years I served you, and not once did I disobey your orders. Yet you never gave me even a young goat to feast on with my friends. But when your son returns who swallowed up your property with prostitutes, for him you slaughter the fattened calf. He said to him, My son, you are here with me always. Everything I have is yours. But now we must celebrate and rejoice, because your brother was dead and has come to life again. He was lost and has been found. All right, so that's very common. We get we got the parable of the of the lost son, as I'm sure most of us have heard before. So I think what since it was longer, we're just going to kind of go straight into the challenge. And you know, the challenge is try to put yourself into the shoes of one of these characters, whether it be the father, um, and be the prodigal father who is just overfilled with joy of uh, of his son um, who was lost and did his own thing and came back All right so put yourself in his shoes and see what maybe it is that you need to work on uh, whether you need to be more patient in God's timing rather than your own especially as a parent um, or maybe you need to be more um, compassionate towards other people and embrace those um, who do good and uh, return home to you um, but yeah, so put yourself in your father's shoe, in the father's shoes, and uh, try to become that prodigal father. Or you can put yourself in, in the son's shoes. Maybe you yourself have have kind of veered off the the road of your your spiritual lives and kind of fallen into a uh, a, a trail of of deceit and sin and um, just evilness, and you recognize that, and now you know and you realize how much you need to rely on your father, and that your father will always welcome you home, just like God will. Um, so maybe maybe you need to put yourself in those shoes. 
Or maybe you put yourself in the shoes of the one who has always been doing good and you find yourself um, overwhelmed with jealousy of how your father treated the, the one who you consider unworthy. So maybe you fall into the judgment phase or side of that story and that character. So that's the challenge today with that with that longer parable there that we've heard many different times is try to relate to one of those three and um, just work on whatever, whatever character trait you might need to work on. Um, and try to do that today and every day. So have a great one. Enjoy this Pi Day. It's awfully rainy out here, so uh, stay dry if you're in Oklahoma. Have a good one, guys. Amen. You know the Father, Son, and Spirit. Amen.